Hello guys and welcome. Um, we are starting our first section from our book. Hopefully you guys started with reading the section. Um, that would be where I my recommendation would be to start. Um, so read section 1.1 um, and then I'll just kind of recap everything that you should have written down. Okay, so <clears throat> first thing we're going to write down is the section. So section 1.1 means chapter 1, section 1, um, and this the section name is called Getting Started. So there's going to be a lot of vocabulary in this part, um, so lots of writing. You guys should have your spiral notebook out. You guys should be ready. Um, if you want to highlight the words or have a running separate spot for um, if you want to put any kind of definitions in there. Okay, so um, let's see. We're going to start with... Point. So things that you should have pulled out from what a point is. Now I know you guys know what a point is. That's my little point. Okay. Um, the reason we have points is because they involve position. I forgot the O. Okay. So um, it talks about the location. And you guys are most familiar with that in terms of algebra. When I said the point 2 comma 3... Um, it's describing what that position is, okay? And if I was in class, we would talk about what the point 2, comma 3, comma 5 is um, because that's a three-dimensional point um, on the third dimension, the z-axis, uh, which I always love to talk about. So um, most of the time you guys are going to see just a single capital letter next to the point, um, and that's how you name it. So I would call that point A. Okay, um, or you could just say point A. I'm referring to point A, I'm talking about point A, um, and that's how you would refer to that. So the second thing that you guys should have hopefully written down is we're talking about a line. Okay, um, a couple things about a line. One, it's straight. Okay, there's gonna be no curves, it's exactly straight. Two, it extends <clears throat> infinitely in two directions. Um, and the way that we do this in math class is we draw a line, that's a segment, and we put arrows on the end. And what that means is that's extending infinitely in two directions. Um, and on that line, believe it or not, there's an infinite amount of points. An infinite amount of points because it extends forever and ever and ever and ever. So here are my points. Okay, we can name those points. A, B, C, D, E, F. So that's a lot of points. And again, we can continue on forever and ever and ever. Um, uh, once again, it has to be straight. So if you see something like this, that is not a line. If you see something like this, that is not a line. Okay, um, it has to extend infinitely in both directions. It has to be straight. And then again, containing on the point is an infinite amount of points. Um, containing on the line is an infinite amount of points. Now we don't know, um, sometimes we can't see the points. They're there, but sometimes we can't see them. Um, naming a line. To name the line, you can choose any two points. Okay, to name the line, you can choose any two points you want. Um, so I like a B because my son's name is Ben, and I'll do an E for Ben once again. Um, if I'm referring to BE, the line, I am going to be putting a line over the top of that. So what that does is it tells your reader, hey, I'm talking about this entire line. Now I chose BE because my son's name is Ben. However, you can pick any two points that you want, okay? So if, I don't know, you really like your dad, you can pick DA. As long as you put that line over the top, you are telling the reader that you are talking about D to A and everything that extends in both directions, okay? So that's how we're going to be naming lines. Um, which leads me into my next segment. Uh, 
of segments. <laughs> My next segment of segments. No. Okay. Um, this is too much fun. So my next segment about segments um, is, well, let's start here. Number one. Again, there's actually infinitely many points on a segment. I know it's crazy. But um, if you took a one inch little piece and I asked you to cut it in half, it would now be a half inch. Then you cut it in half again, it'd be a quarter inch. Cut it in half again, it'd be an eighth of an inch. Then a sixteenth, then a thirty-second, then a sixty-fourth, then a one over one hundred and twenty-eighth, and a one over two hundred and fifty-sixth. And you can continue on forever and ever and ever. It gets smaller. However, there's an infinite amount of midpoints or points um, on that segment. Super fun. Um, next, with a segment, it is also straight. So it seems like I'm describing a line again, but there's a definite end and beginning. And we call those endpoints. So there are two endpoints. Um, I'll just go like this. Okay. Um, so if I wanted to refer to this pink segment, I would tell my reader I'm talking about segment AC. Okay? I'm talking about segment AC. However, let's say I wanted to talk to my reader about this little green piece. I would then say, hey guys, can you guys refer to segment BC? Okay, so segments are a little bit more complex than lines because lines you're allowed to choose any two points that you want. But segments, you have to be very specific about the endpoints. Okay, so you grab those two endpoints, and that is the segment that you're talking about. So that's very important the difference between those. Okay, so that's naming your segments. Um, the next thing we're going to talk about are rays. And I always call these rays of sunshine. Um, again, there's infinitely many points. They're straight. Should have just copied it from above. Um, and it begins at a point. It has one end point. And extends infinitely in one direction. Um, and it's just like a ray of sunshine. So for example, here's my sun. I'll call this point S because of sun. And it's going to extend infinitely in one direction. Now again, there's infinitely many points on here. So we'll call that sun. Um, when you name a ray, to name a ray, you have to start at the end point. Okay, so I'm going to highlight this in blue, and I'm also going to highlight the end point in blue. So when you're naming, you have to start at the S, the end point, whatever the end point is. Then you get to pick any other point that's on the line. Only one other point. Pick one point on the line. So I'm going to pick you. Okay. What I have to do then is tell my reader S is the end point and the ray goes toward you. Okay. You do not want to do this. Okay, that's like reading from right to left. We don't do that in math. We read from left to right. I don't care. Even if the ray is going in this direction, doesn't matter what direction the ray is going in. Let's say this is A, B, C, D. Um, you always start at the end point. So again, I'll highlight the end point in blue. You always start at that end point A, and you pick one other point that it's going towards. So it's going towards C. That is referring to the ray AC. Okay? 
Um, the next thing we're going to be talking about, Roman numeral five, is going to be angles. I wish we were in person right now because I would show you guys, I would open and close my door in the classroom and I would talk about how that's a 90 degree angle. Okay, an angle, um, I, it's so hard to draw an angle because most of you guys look at an angle and you look at it like this, right? So you kind of have this, this angle in your brains. The angle is actually that movement of those two rays. It's how many, if you guys are skateboarders or ice skaters or anything, a 360. A 360 is a full turn. It's a, it's a turn. That's what an angle is, if I could stress this enough. Okay, so it's made up of two rays. Two rays with a common end point. So here's my common end point. Okay, two rays made up of a common end point. Um, we call that end point the vertex. Okay, I did not leave myself enough room. Um, we call that end point the vertex. So I'm going to put a V here for vertex. So we call that end point the vertex. Okay, the rays are the sides. So for example, All right, so I, if I wanted to talk to you guys about anything in this drawing, I could say, hey guys, can you take a look at Ray VA and what this is referring to is this Ray right here. Um, I could also say to you guys, hey guys, can you take a look at AV? And you guys should be saying, oh, AV, she's talking about just this segment with those endpoints. It does not extend forever. Um, I can also say to you guys, hey, guys, take a look at um, Ray VB. Okay, so again, it's going in that direction. I will highlight this in green, and I'm talking about this ray that extends on forever here. Now, the question is, what if I want to name the angle? What if I wanted you guys to talk about the angle? Um, so the easiest way, and the symbol that we use for angle, because in math we use symbols all the time, is this little this symbol thing. I don't just do that sign usually. You guys might see that sign, which is fine, um, but it looks like a less than sign. So I put this little this arc in there so it's showing you like, hey, I'm talking about the movement of those two rays. So I can refer to this as angle V. Okay, um, and I can do that because there's only one angle there. But what if my diagram starts to get harder? And what if this is my picture? And I said, hey guys, look at angle V. Now you're no longer looking at just that one angle. Okay, so we are only allowed to name with one letter if there's only one angle there. Okay. If there are multiple angles, I could say, hey guys, look at angle B, V, D. And what did you guys do? You looked over at the picture and you started at B. You then went to V and you went to D. That's what you want your reader to do. Start at B, go to the vertex, and then go to D, okay? In the middle is always going to be your vertex when you guys are naming an angle, okay? I'm stressing this so much because I've taught this, like I said, for 16 years, and I know that um, it's a struggle for kids, you know? So B, V, D, that is angle B, V, D, okay? Um, another thing I should point out is sometimes there's gonna be numbers in there, looks like this. Um, if you wanted to refer to angle CVD, you could also call angle CVD angle one. Okay, so that's another option. Um, and again, if, I, if you wanted me to highlight it, this is, I already used green, didn't I? What color didn't I use? Yellow? Um, so this is angle CVD right here. And this is angle CBD and angle one right here. 
Okay, so just making sure we're all on the same page with naming this. Um, I should talk to... There's so much I want to talk about. I wish we were in class. Um, so let's just take a look at this. Right now, you guys are looking at this like a line, right? I'm going to blow your mind. But what I want you to do is I want you to look at angle ABC. What? I told you this class is going to change your brains. Look at angle ABC. Now, in your mind, you guys are telling yourself, Miss Botica just said an angle is a movement. It is two rays that are connected by a vertex. So this ray is going off to the right, and this ray is going off to the left. She also told us it's a movement. So what I'm asking you is, how big is angle ABC? So angle ABC is called a straight angle, and that is a 180 degree angle. Um, if I am referring to the angle, I call that ABC. If I am referring to the line, I could call this line AB. Line AB is just referring to this straight line. Okay, that's what line AB is talking about. If I'm referring to angle ABC, I am referring to how much it's taking to turn um, in order to get from BC to BA. Okay, that is the difference between an angle and a segment. Um, the last little section that we're going to talk about right now is triangles. Okay, so triangles. How long have I been talking for? Does it tell me anywhere? Um, so you guys obviously know what a triangle is. It is made up of three segments as sides. And it is made up of three angles. Okay, so I'm going to draw my triangle. And I'm going to be super creative and call it triangle ABC. Okay, um, now we need to talk about how to name this. And I just said it. This is referred to as triangle ABC. What that does is it encompasses everything. Triangle A. B, C, okay? Um, if I wanted to refer to just this piece right here, I could call that angle A or angle B, A, C, okay? So if I just wanted to refer to that little blue piece, I could refer to angle A or angle B, A, C. Okay, um, and then this leads me into the next thing that we're going to talk about, which is union and intersection. Okay, Th this one stands for union because it looks like a U, and this one stands for intersection. And I love teaching it to sophomores because you guys are in driver's ed and you should know what an intersection is. Um, okay, so union. So let's say I said um, we're talking about three segments. One, two, three. Okay, A, B, C. Um, if I wanted to put together these three segments, segment A, B, putting together with segment B, C, putting together with segment AC, what is that going to give me? So what it means when we are talking about a union is you're putting everything together. That segment plus that segment plus that segment. And if I highlighted all of those, it gives me triangle ABC. Okay, union is putting everything together. Okay. the union of two people, right? You're putting them together. They become a family. Um, intersection is uh, kind of the opposite. Okay, so um, let's see. Another union problem. So let me draw this. A, B, C. 
So let's say I want to talk about um, the intersection. So I will say CA intersecting with BC. There we go. And we want to talk about what that equals. So above, if you notice, what I did was I used one color. Whenever we're talking about union, we're talking about putting everything together. So we're all united. We're all the same color. Intersection is different, right? If I'm talking about the intersection of two streets, I'm talking about a point. Um, so down here where it says intersection, I'm going to pick two different colors. So CA, I'm talking about ray C extending to A infinitely in that direction. Okay, then I'm talking about ray BC. So starting at B and moving infinitely in this direction. So you can see that the union of the two, I'm gonna pick a different color, is this segment right here, segment B, C. Okay, so that is the intersection of ray CA and ray BC. Okay, so very different between those. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, Thursday and Friday, um, also Monday when, during our live Zooms, you guys can ask me questions, but hopefully this is enough for you guys to get your homework started. Um, and then we'll do section 1.2 um, on Friday. So I will see some of you guys tomorrow.